Hey guys, it's Angels, and welcome back to another killer video for today. I was planning on making a survivor video, but survivor queues are fucking long as shit, especially since. Thank you, Oni. Especially since uh, I'm ranked like 13 or 14 or something. But, anyways, I decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the killer video for today, and we'll try and do survival video soon enough. Anyways, for our perks, we'll be running something pretty standard. We have Barbecue Chili, Tinker, Infectious Fright, and Corrupt Intervention. Tinker is a perk that I don't really use too often, but it is a pretty strong one, because it allows you to know when generators are about to go, and you can go pressure them. Now, for add-ons, we'll be using the Chipped sci High and the Bloody Sash. And actually, now that I think about it, in Center Infectious Fright, we're going to run Popper the Weasel, because it pairs a lot better with both Barbecue and Tinker. Assuming I can find it, there it is. Anyways, guys, let's get straight into the games for today. Alright, we're starting up with Father Campbell's Chapel. God, only looks so pale in the skin. It's funny, I love it. <laughs> so generally, something I've noticed that I do with Killer whenever I spawn in, is I tend to go to... I mean, obviously, if I know that Survivor's tend to spawn on one side of the map, I'll go straight over there. But if I don't know exactly where, where they're going to be spawning, then usually I tend to go to the most open area I can and try and spot somebody off in a distance and I feel like that is actually a pretty solid strategy to go for just try and find the most open area of the map and look for somebody uh, far away that you can at least go to pressure a little bit and it works for me a lot we saw exactly where that mech ran this gen has a lot of progress for it being just one person so uh, yep there's a second one Meg's hiding to my right over here all right you fucking dick is David still hiding? Please be hiding, please be hiding, please be hiding. Aw, oh, he ran away. That sucks. Megs. <laughs> what a meghead. What a meghead I am! What the fuck? Drop that pallet? She doesn't even know there's a pallet there. I'm the meghead all along! Let's come back here so we can get a hit on this, David. No, it's a progress. He just ran and hid somewhere. I want to find him so bad. You have no idea. I guess we'll hook her on the hook that, that she just saboted. That was oh so rude of her. Not enough power, uh, blood for my power, unfortunately. Even if I were to collect all of it, I don't think I'd get my power. Besides, I want to have time to go kick that with, with Tinker, that's for sure. Do I not have time? Is that... Okay, that's the main building. I thought that was a killer shack for a second. Oh, there's multiple people working on this, and we got the bad door, so unfortunately I won't be able to kick this way pop with the weasel either. Unless you're just a pussy and you don't commit. Okay. Well, he could have finished his generator. Considering he did the right thing and vaulted out immediately there. I mean, well, the right thing to do would have been to commit to the generator. I'm going to pretend I didn't see him to my right here. And immediately run back over. He knows I saw him. Unfortunate for me, but it's okay. Considering he vaulted out in the correct spot. Oh, fuck you, auto aim. Blind me, please. Blinding me would have been a godsend, unfortunately. God did not send him. He left the building. These guys are back here somewhere. Where the fuck are these guys? I don't know where the hell they are, I'm gonna be honest. I'll just kick this, fuck it. Let's keep it at zero if we can. Are they over here? Yes, they're over here. Show my red light this way, turn around. Someone's hiding here. <laughs> that gen has two people working on it. This guy's over here. I'm actually going to approach from under him and hope that he doesn't realize that I'm here. Like that. Tinker just procced on the other gen as well. I'm actually going to break off him and go for that one. This is my burst on her. We've, we know the other girl's here. Let's see if she ran away. Alright, I guess it's a Dwight, not another girl. Alright. We'll kick this, pick Dwight up, use Pop Goes a Weasel in the generator upstairs if we have a chance. I wouldn't be surprised if the if the Jake just decided to commit to the generator though. Absolutely would be the right play on his part. He would deny me the Pop Goes a Weasel on it. 
If he did, props to him. Really well played. If he didn't, then I get to regress his generator again. That's really good for me. And see where these guys are. Barbecue. He's committing to it right now. He just went down the other way. Smart. He has to be real careful about this window. The window to my right, that's a strong one. But if you're not careful, you're going to end up getting yourself killed over and over again by vaulting it. Let's see where these guys ran off to. Hey, Jakey Poo. This pallet's gone now. Remember when you threw it in my face? That was mean. Mm. I kind of want to commit for this down. We see Meg over there as well. Scared. He's going to vault that window. Wow. Well played, man. I'm gonna grab blood. I know there's a little piece of blood back here somewhere. Let's go over to that gen. We'll approach from the right. Fuck! He's working on the gen. Nice. Well done. Well done, angels. You're so good at this game. He didn't realize there was a pallet right next to him. He tried to dead hard to that. That's fucking three generators I have being close to done here. Vault the window? Nope, it's fine. We'll break off and come back over here. I was really helpful with that swing, if I'm honest. Oh, I got him here. Nice. That's really big that I get this down. Because then I can hook this guy, use Popco's Weasel on one of these generators. I'm going to lose one of them for sure. I can't keep all of these generators. Uh, at zero, but I can keep at least one of them lower than uh, than what they'll try and push it to. That gen above me actually is all the way regressed. I thought it got hit with. I thought it got Tinker procked. Hello? I thought David just ran at me. I don't want to chase that Dwight or that Jake. He's running across the map, nowhere that's of interest to me. I'll approach from this angle for this unhook denial. Oh, thank you, Meg, for being so kind and not going for the unhook. It gives me time to kick those pop the weasel and then head straight back over. Oh, yeah, he played that so poorly. I'm gonna down this Dwight because I really do need map pressure. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna be nice. Tinker on that gen. Ton of blood over here. Unfortunately, not enough for me to get my. Well, Dwight. <laughs> he didn't hear my terror idea, so he just left. I don't want to down him. That feels like a dick move. I don't want to chase this guy. I really don't. I'd rather come over here and pressure this, this David, who's not careful and ran directly over here. Two injured people over here. Alright, I think he realized that he was fucked. We'll go ahead and kick this generator close to my left to Pop Goes a Weasel. I hope he doesn't kill himself. Dwight should be picked up by now. What the fuck is this Jake doing? It took so long to pick him up. That's very weird. Meg ran over to the carnival where there's only a couple pallets left. Okay, he just disconnected. I don't really understand why, but... Sure, I guess. Let's listen for the Meg over here. Not only listening, I'm looking for blood as well. Let's see if there's any blood piled up anywhere, but... Hey buddy, I thought I heard grass moving. Oh, I thought I heard grass. Are you in the locker? Hello? What the fuck? Where the hell did he just go? This dude literally just disappeared off the face of the earth. Am I blind or just stupid? We'll approach from this angle, hopefully catch this guy off guard. Oh, he just poor Dwight. Oh, we got Valley out of our... Uh, there's no point to go for her. We got Valley out of our uh, Fury there. So I'm not too upset with that at all. Is this Dwight down on Hunk? I think he is, which puts me in a great position, because for whatever reason, that guy decided to kill himself. Or disconnect, I mean. Let's see, where's this Jake? This Jake's been very careful not to let me... Ooh, look at all this blood! Thank you! This Jake's been very careful not to let me down him as, for as long as possible. 
I feel like he's the only one with decisive strike, but he hasn't really taken any hook states, and that actually really hurts his team. His team needed him to take hooks at some point or another. Boy, I wonder where he is. Hey guys, oh, okay, he already made distance, I don't care. Let's find some more blood. Can I get enough for my power here? Potentially. I don't have my power ready for this Jake, whenever I do find him. Meg comes back to this gen. We'll just use this on her. She knows I'm coming, she's gonna sprint us away. I'll approach from this angle to force her into the worst position. Well, she panicked and ended up running back into me over here. I had a weird feeling she did. We're gonna pick her up. This Jake has not helped his team at all, but whatever. I don't really care. I don't like when people... <sighs> That's what you've been doing this entire time, you fucking selfish asshole. What locker did he get in, though? This one? This one? Look at all this blood, though. I love it. He already left. Unless, there's no locker in this back set, right? There shouldn't be, no. I'm gonna let him get the sun hook for absolutely free. I thought I just saw him back there. I'm literally not gonna pressure him at all. I want him to get that unhook because I really do want to get the Dwight, or the Jake, if nothing else, for my barbecue stack. Please get him. Or her, I mean, get the mag, man. If this guy's really just playing for hats, it's such a dick move, man. He could be hiding literally anywhere and I would have no idea. This is where Whispers would be helpful. It'd let me know if I'm looking for somebody or if I'm just letting them hide, but I don't see him at all. And that makes it kind of sad, if I'm honest. Excuse me, last barbecue stack, man. I'll probably find the hatch before I do. I feel like survivors tend to uh, find the hatch before I do. I'll kick this generator for the points, I guess. Hmm. The unfortunate thing is, he isn't injured. So, I'm not having blood drop anywhere right now. Which... Oh. I'm gonna stand on this and I'm gonna wait till I find him. I will cut till then. <laughs> I hear him on the other side of this wall. I don't think he realizes that I hear him. Dude, if you're gonna fucking hide like that and screw your teammates over for the entire game, I'm gonna happily play like this. Like, this guy literally refused to help his teammates simply to keep himself alive. I fucking can't stand when people do that when I'm playing Survivor. And it bugs me just as much when I play Killer. Vaulted again in a panic, maybe? I messed up there, unfortunately. You're... All this time you hide and you play cocky. For a t fucking like 10 second chase. Jesus Christ. The best part is, he couldn't have just gone off and 99 uh, a bunch of generators so that he could uh, open the doors. Because I had, uh, I have Tinker, so if he, he starts putting progress in any generator, <laughs> I just run right the fuck over there and get him killed again. But yeah, yeah. I, it's, it, I know it sounds petty, but it really bugs me when I'm playing Survivor if people just play to hide the entire game. So I, if I can, I try and punish people who play like that when I'm playing Killer because it just makes it, it makes it a lot more worth it. This guy was running fucking small PP build with Dead Heart and fucking self care. He brought a white ward so he could use a fucking flashlight over and over again. And he literally just hid the entire fucking game. Like I said, if he had taken a hook state and used his decisive strike effectively, that could have been a very different game. But he literally just wanted to hide. I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's get into the next game.
Alright, well, we got the biggest map in the game, which sucks. This map's fucking massive, and Oni has one of the weaker uh, early games. Hello! Did I just see someone? If I just saw someone, that's amazing for me. Bill, I love you so much, you have no idea. God damn, I'm in love. This man. Such a beautiful creature. Aw, Bill. Give me all the blood. Vault it? Ooh, look at him. Running into nothingness. He'll give me one more set of boards. There we go. I'll pick this up. Uh, I'm gonna bring, hopefully bring him to a hook back here. Yeah, nice. We can not only kick this pallet, we can also pick up the blood over here and use that to get our power. That's where everyone is. Two people upstairs, one person not doing anything. Good. The gen upstairs will tinker soon. Uh, I don't have enough blood. Fuck. I can't kick the generator. Two people on it means a tinker you get like at most like six or seven seconds. They're gonna drop down here when I walk in. Three, two, one, now. No? Okay. I don't care. I will wait right here until they drop. She's literally just staying up there. She refuses to leave. I don't fucking care anymore. I'll find this person who actually, you know, has a pair of balls. Instead of playing a dark skin Claudette and just trying to fucking play as safe as possible. Where the hell are you? Okay, it's David. These guys had three medkits, or not three medkits, three toolboxes coming in. This could have been a really rough start. Thankfully, they weren't all brand new parts. Vault. Thank you. Man, if I had my power earlier, this would have been a down, more likely than not. That really sucks. I needed the bill to shit out one more blood orb. I thought I'd have enough, but I mean, clearly I was wrong. He panicked and ended up running into a less favorable position and losing some distance as well. Vault that window. Thank you. Dead heart. I think that was a dead heart, but I'm not sure. That's not Tinker just yet. We didn't see it light up in the bottom right, but now we know where they are. Do I have basement down here? Yep. Not Tinker yet, still looking at the bottom right to see if it lights up. I had a feeling it might be multiple people considering they fucked up two skill checks right after each other. Generally it's um it's gonna be two different people on the generator. Not always, but I had a weird feeling. Hey Jake. See where they go after that. Looks like they're just running out to try and get in a position to heal. If I can take a wild gus. Where is Mr. Yake? Oh, we saw Claudette over here. Let's see if she'll try and hide. No, oh, she went over to this general or to this loop. Where the fuck are you? Can, did I just walk through that tree? Oh yeah, I could have sworn it looked like I walked through the tree. Dude, these guys are gonna hide. This Claudette's literally gonna spend the entire game hiding. I don't give a shit. I would rather fucking tunnel the shit out of a poor little Bill instead of have to deal with this bullshit. Are you really gonna do that? You know you go down for that, right? You don't even fucking get to go down. I hook her right away. I end up saving most, if not all, my power, and I come come back here to kick this clockwise weasel if he doesn't commit. Aw. Oh. Oh, it's another Claudette. This is the one that was teabagging. Well, you're very good at the game. Whoa! I really hope I didn't stop the recording. Fuck. I accidentally just hit my home screen. What the fuck was that? And why is that deliverance? So cool? Alright, that is not a heal that is worthwhile, but... Mm, 
Can I really try to catch up with the sprint burst there? Bill. I'm killing Bill. I don't care. That guy's gonna finish the generator off in Narnia. I could have gone over there to defend it. I would rather get the kill though. And this kill was easy. Let me see exactly where the Kata is back here, hiding. And that's game over. I pick up some blood. Mm, not game just yet. I thought I'd have a little bit more time. And I don't want to chase him. I'll go ahead and hook her. Oh man, I really hope I didn't stop recording. That'd be real unfortunate if it did. Claudette's coming back to Savoy. We'll just bring her back here. I could have sworn there was a Jake, but I guess it was a Claudette that I saw. Should be able to hook her? Yes, thank you. What are you doing? Killing yourself while David gets himself killed over here? I got so caught on that wagon. There's no pallet back here. He's very fucked. Are you gonna try and dead hurt the locker? Well done. Keep an eye out over here for the Claudette. Who is self carrying right here still. No, no, she snuck past. Oh, I don't have my power. I've been walking around like I have my power already. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, I mean, that definitely doesn't seem like a pebble or anything. Why can't I turn, man? Unbreakable on the David. <laughs> nice pebble, dude. Wait, she had dead heart? What the fuck, weirdo? That was such a strange dead heart. Don't even want to bother going for my uh, dash or my lunge because it just wastes a little bit of extra time that I don't really care about. And she kills herself on hook. I'm not surprised. David probably ran off to Narnia. Hmm, no idea where he is. We'll pick up a bunch of blood. Hey, David. Where you at, big guy? Hey, buddy. Good bait. I mean, I still, I still like swinging there. Dead hard, dead hard, dead hard, dead hard, dead hard. I still like swinging there because it denies him the window, regardless of um, of whether or not he commits it or not. But oh well. Uh, we're thooming out here. Let's see if we can find the hatch. Maybe. Something feels weird about Oni's turning. Like, sometimes I can't turn as far as it usually lets me turn, and it's actually really annoying because it fucks me up real bad. Especially when I'm trying to, to land a swing around a corner or, like, take a sharp turn while swinging. It's very strange. Anyways, guys. I'm sorry if I did cut. I'm gonna keep this video in because it's getting late. But I. <laughs> but yeah, make sure to like, comment, and sub. Join the Discord if you haven't already to get notified whenever I go live. And I'll see you guys in the next video.